Perlmutter. Yep. Dr. Perlmutter. That's right. Yeah. It w um, and, a, and a previous winner in physics. Yes. In fun fundamental physics. That's right. We're we're fans. Um, we've got a, a live stream on the Physics Girl Facebook page right now. Ah, good. As good. well as um, the Breakthrough. So I keep saying Facebook page. Live stream on the Physics Girl YouTube channel as well as the Breakthrough Facebook page. Ah, great. Yeah. Great. So if you want to wave to the. Ah, nice, nice there, meet. there they <laughs> are. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you won the previous year. Uh, no. Uh, Three years ago, I think Three it was. Three years ago. Yeah. And yeah. for um, the, I, I always get this wrong, S uh, S Supernova, what is the full name <laughs> of that? So, th so these are the measurements of the uh, of the expansion of the universe in yes. which we discovered that the universe was actually speeding up exactly. its expansion. What is, yeah, we were just yeah. talking about this. What, yeah. is the, what is the Supernova, um, right? Th that's in the name of the project? Oh, the project was, a super, uh, well, our, the, our project was yeah. the Supernova Cosmology Project. Supernova yeah. Cosmology Project. Yes. Thank you. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for yeah. helping me trip through that. No, yeah. no. <laughs> so, um, so we knew the ex that the universe was expanding. We, we've known for a while that the universe is expanding, um, thanks to previous work. But what, what did your research contribute to that knowledge? I mean, the, the fun thing was that we had all assumed ever since you know the time of uh, you know Hubble and, and Einstein um, that the universe would be slowing down in its expansion because right. gravity right. You know, between all the uh, galaxies mm -hmm. would, would tend to slow the expansion. Mm -hmm. And so we set out to measure how much it was slowing down mm -hmm. and we thought it was going to be a really fun project that we'd find out whether or not the universe was going to someday come to a halt and collapse yeah. or whether it would expand forever. You know, it seemed that you were getting a, to make a measurement that would tell you if you would live in a universe that would someday come to an end. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, you couldn't get a better project than that. And it turned out it was even better than that because we found the surprise. And of course, the best thing in science is when you come across something that shouldn't be going on. Yeah. Um, and yeah so, it was, so it was sort of generally accepted that uh, the universe was... Or, or generally thought that the universe was probably slowing down as a, in, ex, in its expansion. But then, what was the surprise? Right, so the surprise was that it, instead of, of uh, slowing enough to come to a halt, or not slowing enough to come to a halt, but still you know, expanding and slowing down, it was actually speeding up. And so that really, um, th that really shocked everybody. I'm sure that blew everybody's minds, because that indicates that there's something pushing outward, pushing the universe. Because it wouldn't be something dragging yeah. it outward. It's like a balloon blowing itself up. Kind of. How right, right. I mean, it's almost as if you know, space itself wants to reproduce itself, you know, faster and faster. Yeah. And so you're getting more and more space in between all, all the points. And so, space. so now, so this discovery has led to some theories about um, dark energy, and that dark energy might be the, the pushing, the force pushing um, the universe and making it expand faster and faster. What are some of the the current theories? What is what is sort oh. of the the present theory on what's creating this accelerated I mean, expansion. There's, there's a huge range of, uh, of ideas that people have been playing with. In fact, I think I was looking at that there's a paper being published every 24 hours ever since the uh, original discovery. Oh my gosh. Um, so uh, <laughs> people are trying out you know, everything they can think of. Yeah. Um, and I would say that none of the theorists feel like they th their theory is likely to they know that's the right answer. Mm -hmm. They're just mm -hmm. trying to expand the range of possibilities. Mm -hmm. So it's still in that stage where they look to us as the experimentalists, the observers, mm -hmm. to try and give them a little more of a of a clue as to what yeah. you know what's going on. What 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 can you measure that would tell you what's happening? Mm -hmm. And so that's really where the where the state of the game is now. Yeah. But the fun thing is that we had to take this measurement of the expansion that we had done before and we had to we had to figure out ways over the last ten years or so basically to come up with measurements that could be like 20 times more precise so that you could actually measure how the universe went from its period when it was slowing down in the first half of its life to this period in which it's been speeding up. Mm -hmm. And if you can watch the differences between you know, how that happened, we think that's going to be the clue to why it's happening. Mm -hmm. and, and right now, this term dark energy is almost just a placeholder yeah. for um, all the different theories that, that I've mentioned that, you know, that could explain it. Yeah, I, I just love you know, that dark matter and dark energy. People have, you know, sort of wonder what it is and they want to know because the names are so mysterious. But part of the mystery is that we don't know yet. We don't know what dark matter and dark energy are. No, exactly. In fact, you know, when I say it's dark, I really am referring to our level of knowledge, not to the color you <laughs> yeah. know, of, the, of, the, yeah. of the energy. You know. Right, yeah. fantastic. Um, and how, how does it feel to be involved with this event again, to oh, be back uh, here? These, these are fun. Yeah. I mean, I, I would say that what's funny is as a scientist, you know, you almost never see scientists together with, in this case, the, uh, you know, the, Sil the Silicon Valley and the Hollywood yeah. world. And, uh, and you know, this event is one of the is, is a, 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 a interesting time to actually meet people who you otherwise wouldn't come across. You know, what, what is that like as a scientist to be uh, to be rubbing elbows, as they say, with the Silicon Valley execs and with Hollywood celebrities? Well, what, what's funny, one thing that's funny about it is that you are walking through this you know, red carpet um, kind of you know, Academy Awards sort of scene. Right, right. Um, and of course, you know, 
we're the scientists, and you can sort of tell the difference between those people who look like these glamorous types <laughs> who clearly belong on the red carpet, and then people like us, you know, who just, you know, we... Uh... Who, who belong on the red carpet? People like us, yeah, definitely. That's the idea, right, is that, that I mean, I, I had scientists on my wall, and I, I studied physics, but... I, but I think that the, that's the goal of this event, right? Is to get Absolutely. to get yeah. more people to feel like that, to feel yeah. like yeah. science is something to be revered and to emulate. So, I mean, it's, what's funny though is, of course, that science has such a tradition of low-key, um, you know, not showing off in any way as, as you know, the way in which you establish credibility, and and so it, it goes sort of almost against the grain to be in a in a scene yeah, where you are expected true. to be showing off, yeah. you know, and, and so yeah, and, it and, does. And, but, but it's, it's fun. A I mean, I, mind I, shift. Yeah. yeah, and so and you know, and nowadays, you know, I think there's there's another playful element to that, which yeah. I think is, is good. Yeah. You know, that's great. Well, I, I'm glad that you're enjoying it rather than, you know, no, no, of course, feeling feeling out of place as we do a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very, very nice to talk to you. Thank a you pleasure. so much for taking the time. No, enjoy the enjoy the evening. Yeah, Have a good likewise. evening.